MMA Wales TV, joined by Brett Johns. So Brett Johns, what have we got doing tonight? Right, uh, obviously it's, it's an amazing event. It's one of the first events we've had in Tembe. Um, like I said, I'm really excited to watch the fights tonight. You know, there's some great competition on you. You know, James has been very unlucky with some pullouts, but we still have a cracking card. We haven't lost the major fights, you know, and that's what we're looking forward to. Main event, Paul Podgy versus Brad Evans, and also a title fight where uh, Scott Pedersen is fighting uh, Borg Dan Grad. I didn't really know the name properly, but um, he's an Aus uh, Austrian I MMAF competitor who has fought in Bahrain in the World Championships. Stiff competition. I think his record at the minute is 15 wins and four losses. Scott Pedersen, also uh, I, -M I MMAF representative for Great Britain. It's going to be an amazing fight and it's, and it's a title worthy fight and I cannot wait to watch that fight. And obviously, you've got a lot of fans, you've got four, five hundred tonight. Yo, what does it mean for Tembi? Oh, it's huge! It's absolutely massive, and I'm glad that we, like, as as a Welsh MMA, as the Welsh MMA scene is expanding, we're coming over to Tembi. It's a cracking venue. The place is full. That's what we wanted. And that's what we got. So, looking forward to a lot of fights tonight. I'm looking forward, obviously, to the Scott Pedersen fight. That's the one I'm looking forward to. Uh, a teammate of mine for years who was uh, who has been on the front line with me in training. It's going to be nice to see him. He finally gets his shot at an adrenaline title. He has been waiting a long time for this. And like I said, you know, he's worthy, a worthy opponent from Austria. Can't wait to watch that one. So obviously, we go going live tonight. Any shout-outs or any handles or people to follow? Obviously, you know, if you want to follow my Instagram account, that's Brett Johns MMA, uh, at 36 Johns on Twitter. I just want to say as well, I've got a big fight coming up uh, in uh, New Jersey, Atlantic City, New Jersey. We're fighting the ninth-ranked Algemin Sterling. Hopefully, we get a nice little win over there, and then we look to, for, for bigger names, really, you know. And, um, you know, it starts first. 21st of April, that's where the Welsh take over, that's where the Prince of Wales is coming. And obviously, big night tonight, so obviously, talent, future talent's coming through. So what does that mean for Wales as a, as a whole, for MMA community? As a nation, we, we are starting to grow in the mixed martial arts world. We were, we were unheard of before, now we're not. We have some great, great, great up and comers in the sport. And then look at the pros that come out. You've got Jack Shaw, Josh Reed, Liu Long. These guys are UFC bound. And you look further again past to the new guys. We have some good up and comers. And the, the future for Welsh MMA is looking bright. And we caught a special guest tonight. You've got Ian Goff. And we caught it with him uh, earlier on. So uh, let's see what he had to say. It's brilliant, isn't it? You know, Pembrokeshire and Tembe, they're starting to put on these massive events with Ironman and all the different events, and now, now MMA coming here as well. It's fantastic, and the buzz around the area is incredible. And I've taken someone in there that's been, uh, that's lived around here for ages and walked in, the, walked in the hall there and went, I've never seen the place look like this, and the atmosphere already is building up to a crescendo. So it, it's going to be a fantastic night. We can't wait to see what's going to, go ha what's going to happen. Do you know, I, I think it's amazing because they've, what they've done with Ironman, the support that, that's around here and the support that's given has made it one of the best Ironman on the circuit. Now, bringing, bringing something like MMA here, and again, a live stream around the world, it just highlights the area again, and Pembrokeshire is just growing for its sporting prowess and sporting you know, support as well. Uh, and, you know, and you're capturing the imagination of these people, and you, so you're, you're enthusing people to, to be healthy, to be fit, and to, and to reach goals that they never thought they could reach. You know? So it, it sends a massive message out there. Uh, absolutely amazing. See Brett here as well you know he's he's localish he's just he's just come across the border from the Swansea Swansea side but people are coming here to see him knowing he's here he's supporting it and you know he's been one of the forerunners now and making the sport as big as it is in Wales and you know the the enthusiasm around there and having him as a firelighter there just to you know just for the he's, he's an idol to people now so people coming here to see him and and see the, the people that are making it big in Wales you know just adds to the environment adds to the atmosphere that they're going to create in there tonight.